Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, this is Keith from KMH Corner, and how are you doing today? I am at my gold farm, so I can replenish some levels on some of my equipment. I have been doing a little bit of work off camera, and some of my tools, especially my shovel, need lots of help. And I just wanted to show you how long it takes for these tools with mending to become mended in the gold farm. And I'm also hoping that a lot of my problems with the gold farm was that I was on 1.9. Now I'm on 1.9.2 and hopefully um, some of those problems will be gone. So just a little more XP for my shovel and it will be done. Then I will do my pickaxes. My shovel's done. Come on. This pickaxe is probably done. How about my... Oh yeah. Didn't take long for my sword. I don't have to kill much nowadays. One more and that should do it. And I am going to make a sheep farm today. So when this is up and it is ready to go, I am going to head on over to the sheep farm. See you there. I have to say this. I went ahead and did a little bit on the sheep farm already. Um, by a little bit, I mean it's basically done. Sorry I did not include you with it. Um, we have new blocks because of the Guardian Temple, so guess what it was made out of? <laughs> so, let's go check it out. I do still have some work to do on it. And it's over here. It's right over there. And I'll show you um, basically what I'm looking to to do with it and now I also made a um, path not completed the path but I'm gonna have a path going up over here probably put something right here maybe something over here overhanging maybe a little fishing dock or something um, but yeah I made a sheep farm out of the prismarine blocks and the best color that goes with it because of the guardians the orange and I kind of made these creepy looking sheep face out of the prismarine blocks also. Um, I'm working on the floor right now. I actually have all the sheep in here already. Um, as you see. And it's basically pretty easy. All I do is run up and down these aisles with the shares. And I'm at a level that um, I will get all the drops over there. Sometimes I'll just jump up just to make sure because I'm not 100% sure if I get the ones in the back unless I jump. But I haven't really figured that out. And it's just really easy to do. And um, it's real fast. I get 20 to 30 wool for each color. And as each color is um, notified by the uh, wool in the top. So obviously you can tell and you can see underneath a little bit and ultimately when I'm done breeding these some of these place uh, sheep don't have nearly as many as others uh, like black I need a lot more um, so I'm still breeding um, so when I'm done breeding the sheep I will be getting rid of these half slabs and there's glass over those uh, um, on top of these half slabs also to kind of help decipher which color I am sharing at the time so it's pretty dummy proof it's not automated it's not an afk one like exuma but i don't really need to do that and the running up and down each time and getting 20 or 30 wool i'm pretty happy with that and it's obviously not done there's some stuff up here i gotta do um and i gotta finish up the floor a little bit and one other thing I wanted to show you, and I kind of like doing this with buildings. I don't know why, but I want it to kind of look like it is part comes out of the mountain. So um, that's why I kind of have it like this. I mean, it was actually dug partially into the mountain, and I'm thinking of putting some sort of domed, not domed like that, but kind of like a half shell. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the roof yet, so I'm not even going to say anything. But um, the way I can keep, keep the sheep happy with grass is, you see right here, there's a layer of grass above the sheep. Um, 
out here there's a layer of grass on either side there's a layer of grass here and a layer of um, grass on the floor here and it all and it works to keep this full of uh, grass so even with the white one where I have mostly the most amount of sheep I still get grass in there and it doesn't take too long for the wool to regenerate on these sheep so I just need to get the um, the amount of sheep equal basically through the whole farm put a roof on it and finish up this floor and I just wanted to let you know that there's viewing windows also on the side and you can see the different things so when I get rid of the hash labs you get look will look a lot more open so basically I have the uh, floor done over here so I'm just gonna mimic it a little bit over here on the other side um, sometimes when you do these floors with the stairs and stuff there's dips and stuff that kind of doesn't make things feel good it's kind of jerkity and I had some of those in my initial design so I got kind of got rid of it that's what these two lines are here initially these were uh, just half slabs across here but it would feel like yeah, it would jerk me down I'd be going down a thing like that and it was I don't really like doing that that's kind of annoying that little jerk thing so on the main floor here it's gonna be smooth even though when I go up to this there's a little jerk here and I may um, fix that by and I think I might just do it right now I'm just gonna get rid of it and put a little thing I don't know it doesn't look good with that We'll keep it down right now and see what to do with that later. So the design um, is to keep me from falling down things there. So I just need to re do what I did on this side. Um, where's my stuff? I'm a little uncoordinated right now. And um, so I have a question for you um, guys where do you want the series to go what what do you like about this series what aren't you liking about this series what do you think I can do better with the series um, because I would really like some feedback I've been just kind of plugging along and trying to get a lot of things done uh, before I go back to work with the series and um, ooh, I need a little bit of this where did it go and I just uh, want to know what you think is going on. If uh, if I need to improve on certain things, I know my part of the reason why I did this, and this is kind of funny, is um, I'm not confident with my public speaking at all. Not really public, just speaking in general. And I kind of have this belief that if you um, aren't good at something, you focus on it until you're good at it. And um, I have always wanted to be a better speaker, not so much to make speeches, but oh, I put the wrong ones there. That's okay. Um, that has the same tops. They got the little, I love that. Um, so that was why I decided to do Let's Plays. It's kind of forced myself but, to uh, speak a lot more, even when I don't know what I'm going to be talking about. And uh, just become a better speaker in general so I do struggle a lot with speaking the English language is not my uh, forte so basically what I was trying to get at is if um, you can give me some feedback both uh, constructive criticism or positive feedback that would be great because I just kind of would like to know where I stand with you guys so I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with this roof and uh, get back with you a little bit and see so maybe we can work on this path a little bit brighten it up imagine I have a bunch of sheep in there already let's see entities I have like 250 sheep in there so there's a shit ton of sheep <laughs> I gotta stop saying that and I kinda after I made this I kind of goofed up thinking um, I made a hint that I was getting a whole bunch of obsidian um, and I was gonna put uh, the thing with the obsidian up here and I don't know if the sheep farm is gonna get in the way of that so we'll see but I'll be back all right guys I did some more work to the sheep farm and I don't know if you remember when I made this room a long time ago um, that I my wife came up with the Cheshire purple and blue and now she came up with another idea for the sheep farm I was having a really hard time a 
really hard time with the roof. As a matter of fact, I wanted some sort of weird wave type thing on the corner of the roof. Kind of like a, think of a surfer with a, um, with a, a tube wave, you know, and they're inside the tube and stuff. And I was kind of thinking of trying to make a, a tube wave on top of the building. Um, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. So I started doing that. And then I was looking at the sheep farm, and I'm like, it looks like a whale. If I stuck an eye right there, there'd be a whale. So I asked my wife, you know, would it be weird to stick a whale on top of a sheep farm? <laughs> and she laughed at me, and he said, you want the sheep so you can have the different colors. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, make a rainbow. Put a rainbow over the sheep farm. So guess what? I've got a rainbow over my sheep farm. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Yeah, this thing, um, I know how to make circles and stuff really well in Minecraft, but oh my god, this thing was a pain in the butt through and through. Um, but it's done, and I think it looks pretty good. Not something I would do on my own, um, but yeah, I'll take it because I could always use more colors in my life. Rainbows are... Uh, huge importance to um, my wife and I when our child was born she was 10 weeks early was born at 1 pound 14 ounces and every time we had to go to the hospital to uh, you know visit her not uh, there was a rainbow so a rainbow became synonymous with my daughter so having the rainbow and the pot of gold um, I think is pretty cool and I also made these villager type walkway lights I'm gonna add some more lights like uh, I did over there with the lantern underneath the ground there covered up with leaves but um, the only thing I might do is backlight this so it shows up at night better and I put the pot of gold in and the pot is bigger than the building <laughs> it's three or four blocks taller but hey it looks right um, and initially when I first put the pot in I put it in where the rainbow actually went into the ground um, but by the time the height of the pot was up, it was like the rainbow was coming out of the side of the pot. So I had to move the pot over. Not a big deal. But let's take a closer look. As you see, I had to add some extra colors in. Because when I first made this rainbow, in this area and over here, it would get really skinny. It didn't make that conversion from the bottom to the top that well. And so there is um, voxel spheres, which you can use to make spheres properly. And I uh, kind of used the... Um, thought patterns from that and I had to add an extra couple of colors which is the um, magenta and the cyan wool there but it blends in nicely you can barely see it unless you're looking for it so I definitely give this rainbow a massive thumbs up so um on this side where the pot of gold is I have to sit at my gold farm and get a bunch of gold uh, do I have any blocks on me no I don't but uh, I can tell you, there's nothing inside that pot. There's uh, a light at the bottom just to make sure nothing spawns inside of it. But there is nothing inside this pot. Um, so I get to sit at the gold farm, make some gold blocks, and fill it up with gold. And on the other end of the rainbow, we have it going into one of these water things. I could probably fill it into the bottom. But um, I think this thing looks magnificent. <laughs> um... It was truly a pain in the butt. I figured, you know, rainbow, yeah, it'll take me half hour, 45 minutes. But it actually took me about four hours of real time to get this thing right. Because I had a hard time getting it lined up with the center here, for one. And um, for two, I had a hard time getting the two sides connected. But that's how it is. Uh, math. Math is hard. So uh, I had to do the roof and... Um, I decided just to stick glass on here so when you're inside the building you can look up and see the rainbow which I think is good so I just added the orange glass that is everywhere else in this building and I left this like this um, I was gonna cover this up I started to that's why that's not a glass grass block right now um, then I realized wait a second I need this grass to be light level 9 or better I'm gonna get rid of these I don't know if this slows down the the formation of the grass underneath but um, so this roof is gonna stay like this because I need the light level 
I could cover it up and stick torches all around here, but no, I'm not going to do that. So, this building is finished, other than one thing I might do in the future. Which is, stick some sort of string here, and when I come in, it will start playing over the rainbow. <laughs> that is right. Um, so, we, we'd like to enter, add a little Judy Garland to our world. Actually, it wouldn't be the Judy Garland version of Over the Rainbow. It would be, um, you know, the note block version. And I know I've done it before because uh, on the Athens server, I had a... Um, why did I just grab that food? <laughs> I um, had a note block entrance thing that would play every morning. It would play, Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. But the first song I actually had in there was Over the Rainbow. So... Um, I am going to add that sometime, somewhere, in this build somehow. So basically, let me see. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to get some shears. And I'll show you um, the amount. Let's start with a brand new set of shears. Because we like, to, let me show you, like, the amount of wool I get when I shear the wool. And we'll just do a little speed up here. See what type of wool I get out of this farm. Everything's colored. Everything goes. Oh, it must be still with orange. Not only with orange. I haven't seen color. I live in a monochromatic world. Everything's colored. I can't use color. Everything's colored. I can't use color. I hope you like that little time lapse. I um, got interrupted halfway through the time lapse, but finished recording. Um, but I needed to go away real quick, so I threw everything into this chest. So let's check out what I have. And as you see, um, most of the wools I'm getting 30. A couple of them are a little low, like I need to get a couple more brown sheep in there. Um, but 30 wool for each sheep. I'll take that any day. Yeah, this farm, I'm, I'm a taker. I like my sheep farms. <laughs> so I, I made this so I can uh, make the pixel art that I want to make inside the uh, water temple. So now I have some of the colors and um, we're going to work on getting some more colors. But first, I got to show you something before I go. I added gold to the pot. Look at that. There's gold up there now. So let's go check that out. Yes, yesterday after I uh, made that little time lapse, I had some extra time and I sat at the gold farm and I filled this pot up with gold. I got gold even on the other side. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Ooh, geez, that wasn't wonderful. So that is it. We are now have uh, colored wool for making the... Uh, pixel art for the water temple and I just want to get a couple of flower farms going so maybe in the next episode or the episode after that I will make a flower farm so then my uh, abilities to make whatever I want on the walls of the villager or the water temple where the guardians are where the guardian farm is to get that beautiful blocks for this wolf farm um, then I'll have all the things that I could possibly want to use for the pixel art. So I am very happy. I hope you enjoyed episode 28 of KMA's Jams. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a comment. Tell me what I've done wrong. I'm, I'm good for it. I like knowing what I've done wrong. I want to become better video maker. And I can get more friends like you.
God, who am I, Mr. Rogers? <laughs> I think not. But anyways, have a great day. This is Keith from KMA's Corner. Hope you enjoyed the show. Goodbye.